Hello there. I wanted to share a tool that I've learned recently in my clinical hypnotherapy study, and that's the tool of self-hypnosis. Very similar to meditation where we take ourselves into a very deep, relaxed theta brainwave state. Theta brainwaves, that space where we're not quite unconscious, but we're so relaxed and we're open to allowing our mind to wander in a very relaxed state. And it's in this state that we take on board positive suggestions, which is why hypnotherapy is such a beautiful modality. It's where we get someone relaxed, we provide them positive suggestion, and we're talking really to their deep subconscious. Our deep subconscious is the part of our brain and our neurology that is always on alert. It's always paying attention to what we're thinking, what we're feeling, and how we're reacting to that based on what we're recalling from our memory. So it's a combination of our sensory experience that's being relived via this program that we have in our nervous system and we're either in that fight or flight sympathetic nervous system state and look like a, a you know a crazed out kneecat or we're in that thrive state of rest and digest from the parasympathetic nervous system so when we talk about self-hypnosis I always like to work with an intention and then we can be very purposeful and be able really to quantify and measure what it is we want to achieve in life. And so we set our intention for two things. One is the goal we would like to achieve. So let me give you an example. In this moment, I am calm and relaxed. Very basic affirmation and intention for what you want to be feeling. The second affirmation or intention you want to use is how long you would like to be in the state of self-hypnosis. And naturally, we're not going to be operating heavy machinery. We're not going to be operating a motor vehicle while we're doing this. We're going to be somewhere safe, somewhere comfortable, somewhere quiet, hopefully. Although I have practiced this technique where it was somewhere noisy and it really was helpful just drowning out all of that external chaos around me. And so it starts, here's the process, and I'll very quickly summarize it. It's intention, 10 breaths plus relaxation, and then tell the story of your affirmation. So let me take you through this and describe it bit by bit, and then I'll do a quick demonstration. So the idea is that we set our intention, okay, I'm going to be in self-hypnosis for two to five minutes. So the intention is set. Your subconscious will, it's almost like it's got a timer and it will just naturally take you out of that. And then we do some purposeful breathing. And it might help if you're seated, not lying down. And I do encourage you just to close down your eyes so that you're shutting yourself off to that sensory experience of what you're seeing in your visual field, because sometimes that can be distracting and we really want to try and relax and decompress with this exercise. So I do recommend closing down your eyes and have your feet flat on the floor. So you're then sending a message to the cerebellum, I can't fall over. I'm nice and relaxed. You may like to sit back in your chair so there's no chance of you falling forward. So you're taking all of the risk mitigation um, procedures and possible steps so that you're very comfortable. That, that's what we want to achieve. And we're going to breathe quite purposefully and we will breathe slowly and our external breath is hopefully longer than the inward breath or the inhale. And so on our inward breath, we're going to count one to 10. On our external breath, we're going to use the word relax. Now you can say it out loud. You can use your inside voice. So let me explain. We're breathing in through the nose, one. Breathing out, relax. Breathing in, two. Breathing out, relax. And you'll repeat this until you get to 10. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in and out and then state your affirmation. In this moment, I choose to be calm and clear. And then I invite you to go through the process 
of what do you see or feel or think when you're calm and clear and you're telling the universe, God, spirit, whatever your belief system in your highest self, your theta brainwave, you're basically writing code for the computer when you do this, what it is you want to be feeling. So I use this activity every time that I need to sit down and do something different or do something that's very focused. So we do our breathing one, breathe out, relax, breathing in two, breathe out, relax, get to 10, relax. In this moment, I am calm and clear. And I invite you in this moment to imagine what might calm and clear feel like? And when you're calm and clear, what is it that you're doing? And are your body movements smooth and relaxed? Might your body feel light, loose, limp, relaxed? When you're calm and clear, are your thoughts positive, reaffirming, rejuvenating? Do they reset your mindset? Can I invite you to consider what some of the language you might be using when you're calm and clear? And in this moment right now, when you're affirming calm and clear, what be might be some of the things that you might like to tell yourself? And if calm and clear is sometimes too much of a stretch, can I invite you to land in at the frequency at the lower end of I am willing to learn how to be calm and clear. I am willing to learn how to embrace thinking calm and clear. And I am willing to learn how to embrace feeling, thinking, being calm and clear. And when you feel comfortable with the I am willing to learn, you can I am willing to do more calm and clear. And then we progress up the frequency. So we start always with I am willing to learn, I am willing to like, I am willing to learn to love. I love being calm and clear. It feels so good when I am calm and clear and I am focused, balanced, centred, protected. I am grounded in calm and clear. And when I'm grounded in calm and clear, my mind is clear. My thoughts are positive. My body feels loop, loose, limp and relaxed. And we finish it off just doing a countdown, three, two, one, coming back into the space or perhaps drifting off to a little nanny nap or a rest or just some deep breathing. There's no right or wrong. And ideally we practice this three to five times a day because when we do this self-hypnosis technique, we're actually retraining our nervous system of what it is we want. It's like supercharging your affirmation. So let me repeat the technique again. Set your intention for how long you would like to be in self-hypnosis. Breathing in, counting, breathing out, stating, exhale, breathing in, one, breathing out, relax. Breathing in, two, breathing out, relax. And it's an extended, it's not relax, it's relax and feel yourself just sinking a little deeper into your seat, coming within, letting go of the outside world, detaching from the time clock and just coming into relax. And if you need to keep counting beyond 10, that's okay. There's no right or wrong. The counting is simply get you to a space where you can really truly embrace that sensation of, oh, and just that letting go, that release, that softening back into yourself and then you state your intention affirmation now when you start this process you might simply start with I'm willing to learn to be calm and clear or whatever your intention is add the prefix I'm willing to learn and then the idea is you extend to and tell a story of 
what might it look like? So you're creating, activating your imagination and, and creating the scene for what the dream looks like, that dream of being calm and clear, no matter what. I hope this was useful. I'm finding it to be a very, very powerful tool in helping me stay focused, centered, and just regroup every piece of activity that I need to do where I'm thinking during the day just helps me reset the nervous system in a very profound way, helps my body feel very loose and relax and let go of any tension that may have arisen. I hope you enjoy.